Hello Brigandine fans, um, welcome to my channel Veracity Trigger. I'm going to be going over the spells, orbs, and power ratings of the knights and monsters within the game Brigandine. And it's going to cover Brigandine Grand Edition more so. So I'm basically I'm going to go between the differences between the regular Brigandine and the Grand Edition version. And I'm going to use a backdrop that came from uh, a, uh, a site called Forcina.org or Forcina.org and uh, the person that owned the site, uh, he has not renewed it, it's gone defunct, it's no longer a site you can use anymore. If you type in foresna.org, you're going to come up to a site called Burgundian Reborn, in which case there are still fans that are there that want to, you know, rebirth the game and also make a, a new game, you know. And But I'm not going to go into that. Um, I just want to say thank you to the, uh, the old original uh, creator of that site, because I'll be using some of these as backdrops. I've gone through, I've edited over them to some degree. And just uh, kind of, this is a bit of a tribute to him in a sense, because, you know, he's, you know, he couldn't keep his stuff up forever with a site that you have to constantly renew. With me doing YouTube, I can make this a video, it's up forever. Or at least as long as YouTube is actually a current um, platform. Uh, which I think is gonna be for quite a long time. But, any case, just wanna go over this talk about it, what they do, what these spells do, what their powers are, what they've been changed to with the full English patch, what they were called beforehand, what they could have been. Let's go over everything, okay? Okay, so let's start off with white magic. Now, the heal spell is a two white orb uh, with a spell power of 180. Uh, the name hasn't changed. Basically what it does, if you're new to Burgundine and you're trying to figure out what it does, is it cures up well, it doesn't cure up your hit points. <laughs> I like, shouldn't say that. It, should, it raises your hit points from a damage state. So it, it, uh, it heals your hit points. That's probably the best way I can say it. Uh, area heal is a two white orb and with a spell power of 120. And instead of being called area heal from what the original one was now, the full patch is called healing word. So it's like, almost, so it's, it's going to sound close to holy word but it's healing word. The way they describe it is it, it's basically a holy word that cures or that, that heals up your party instead of damaging the enemy. So that's what it's been changed to. Medica, English GE calls this cure. The English version of Grand Edition calls this cure. Uh, we've seen this as cure for some time, but the full patch, it's actually been changed to cleanse. Cleanse helps me out so much because there's other games that, that have cure as raising hit points. Whereas in Brigandine, Cure is typically to take off status afflictions. So Cleanse makes more sense as far as taking off of status afflictions. Cleanse takes off Charm, Paralyze, Stun, uh, Poison, Solid, and Silence. You know, or, you know, what's called Dumb now. So there are some changes or stuff, but Cleanse takes off all those status afflictions. Okay? Uh, hello. Uh, which is a one white orb, has been changed to hallow. Like, if you were to say, hallowed be thy name, or hallowed ground. Hallow is, the meaning behind hallow is blessing, and that was changed in the full patch to actually, you know, emphasize what it really is. And what it does in uh, the Grand Edition version, if you're not familiar, or if it doesn't exactly do the same as in the original version, but it turns your attack percentage that hits the enemy into 100%. And so you'll see the percent that you're, you know, ava that's available to hit the enemy with. It will turn from a white lettering of whatever percent it is to a green lettering with 100%. So Halo not only gives you 150% more experience for actually getting the attack off on the enemy, it also grants you 100% ratio to hit the enemy. Okay. Next one is Holy Word, or no, sorry, the next one's Divine Ray. The next one, Divine Ray, is a three white orb attack with a spell power of 180, and that does damage to the enemy with a spell power of 180. 180 is very, very good spell power attack ratio. Uh, one after that is Holy Word, which is an area attack. And, you know, like I said before with Healing Word, it was an area heal. Um, this one, this Holy Word, is an area attack, so it's an AoE with two white orbs with a spell power of 70. And it only hits the enemies. Um, now let's go into black magic. Venom 
is a one black orb, spell power of 70, which does black damage. Uh, Meteor Doom is a two black orb spell attack that does 140 damage, uh, spell power rating. And with Meteor Doom, it's the one spell uh, that you can use that will also hit your own team. So you have to be careful with this one because this will drop rocks on everything regardless. So it can hit your own team. These other spells that you use can only hit the enemies. But this is the one that can hit your own team, just so you know. Okay, Curse is a triple black orb spell attack that has 170 spell power rating. It's, it's 10 spell power attack less than Divine Ray is, so it's not as strong as Divine Ray, if you're looking to see which one is better. White is stronger than the black one, except for with Meteor Doom versus Holy Word. Meteor Doom is 140 spell power rating to Holy Word 70, so they kind of balanced it in that sense. But um, anyways, let's move on. Dimension is a double black orb spell that has a percentage to send the enemy pretty much to the moon, <laughs> figuratively speaking. It'll send them anywhere on the map. It could be with buried within a mountain, it could be buried within the ocean, uh, or anywhere on the map. There's there's no way to tell, but um, it's just a percentage, it's like a gamble spell. You know, you just you have a, a smaller percent for this to work, but this could be something that could send the enemy knight or enemy monster anywhere on a map. You know, you want to send them to. Uh, weakness is a one black orb uh, spell that has the same percent, same percentage of working as Dimension does. So if you try either one of these, they're going to have this pretty much almost the same identical spell percentage to work. Like if you're going to flip a coin and both of them were, if you were going to say, I want to use Dimension or Weakness, I don't know which one I should use, and they both had a 67% chance of working, it's either going to work, you know, at that 67% chance in your favor or not. But Weakness has been changed to dwindle as far as the full patch is concerned. Okay. Necro Rebirth, which is a double black um, orb spell, has been changed to Husk. Now, Necro Rebirth rebirths a dead enemy from that battle. Any enemy that's died in that battle that is a monster can be Necro Rebirthed back to the battlefield, but they'll have a black orb for themselves because they're undead. You know, they've been resurrected back to the battlefield. The thing that you probably may or may not know is you can use Holy Word or Divine Ray on a Necro Rebirthed enemy and insta-kill them. So I just want to let you know that. Okay, let's move on to blue orbs, all right? Frost is a double blue orb. Spell power of 120 does an ice attack on a single character. Uh, Geno Frost is a double blue orb. Spell power of 90 does a radius attack. It's an area of radius attack on the enemy. The Fallberg is a triple blue orb and it has 190 spell power and it's a single attack like frost is but it's the most powerful one you can use and it's been changed to icefall from iceberg now it's icefall i think that was to help other people in other countries or languages to understand what that was because i know an iceberg as um you know a gigantic piece of ice and fallberg is supposed to you know denote that it's a falling iceberg but they just made it simpler, they simplified it, they turned into Icefall, okay? Um, into the Grand Edition version. And, I mean, not the Grand Edition version, but this is the full English patch, okay? So, then we look at Flying, which is a one blue orb, it's been changed to Flight. Uh, Resist is in the Grand Edition version. Now, if you're familiar with Fog from the Burgundine version, that's not the Grand Edition version, that has been canceled out of the game and revamped and changed into resist. I think it's still the same spell power, but instead of putting, you know, instead of like it being fog and putting a, uh, a lowered accuracy rating on that monster, resist puts a shell on your own team member, which is, which protects you from magic spells more so. Whereas protect does physical, you know, it's a physical buff. Resist is a magic buff. So that's what I wanted to say. But 
with what it was and how the English patch is gone, resist has been changed to ward. So it was originally fog, then it was changed completely revamped to resist and the full English patch changed the word resist to ward. So it still does the same thing as resist. Ward and resist do the same thing. It's the magic buff that you get. Okay, charm is a two blue orb spell and it does this, you know, it um, charms the enemy to fight for you on your team. Now this is based upon intelligence. So if the enemy has a very poor intelligence, your, ch your chances of having this succeed are increased. Um, but with the full English patch, Charm has been changed to Beguile. So now it's called Beguile. It does the same thing as Charm. Charm and Beguile also mean the same thing. So there you go. Okay, so red magic. Red magic, you have flame, double red orb attack, a spell power of 120, does a single flame spell attack on a single enemy. Geno flame, double red orb attack, spell power of 90, hits multiple enemies, it's an AoE attack. Exablast, which is a triple red orb attack, a spell power of 200, probably one of the strongest uh, spell power attacks out of all of them. I think it is the strongest one. The only one that's close enough to that is Divine Ray. Because Divine Ray is 180, but Exablast is 200. Usually when I'm playing my multiplayer playthroughs uh, for YouTube, I'll say Extra Blast, because to me it just, I think it should have been Extra Blast, but it's actually Exablast, and that's never been changed for any reason. Uh, the next one is Excel. It's a single red orb spell, and it um, you put it on your allies and it, it increases their movement ability so they can move further, like a, like a Fenrir or a Helldog or um, anything that has high movement ability. So it'll give them that. Uh, I think it gives you like an extra space or two to move. But um, the next one is Powered or Power, and it is a single red orb spell that increases your attack for one turn. But in a Grand Edition patched version, the full English patch, power has been changed to fury. So now you're furious with the enemy, you know. You're not just powerful, you're furious. <laughs> I guess that's what they wanted to go with. I think it's probably more of an improvement with that. I like that. I like that one. Uh, the next one is solid. It is a double red orb um, spell that solidifies the enemy. So it either petrifies them or turns them to stone. Now, when I see them get uh, solidified, I see them turn gray. So I think stone, that's my interpretation of it. And plus, because they get solidified, they also gain extra defense. I think it's like five or 10 extra defense. I think it's 10 extra defense on top of whatever defense they have. So now they have, now trying to hit them, you can always hit them. You can move through them as well because they can't you know, defend against anything. Um, but you can always 100% of them and hit them, but they have more defense, more physical defense, because they're solidified like stone. So now you're trying to hit a stone structure instead of a, a physical creature or whatever. So that's what I wanted to say about that. Um, and previously, I also wanted to kind of uh, denote and go over some of the notes that were on top there. And some of the notes basically say, I'll just read them out for you. And GE fog was replaced with resist, like I was just saying which is like Protect, but against magic. Uh, number two note was Thunder and Geno Thunder are now green magic. Excel and Solid are now red magic. If you're looking from what was in the Brigandine game to what is in Brigandine Grand Edition. That's just some of the notes I want to go over. So now we're going to go into the green magic spells, okay? So with green magic, you have Thunder, which is a two green orb spell which has a spell power of 150, which is very good. It's better than the other, the, it's better than the red and the blues uh, comparatively. But in the patched version, it's been changed to bolt. So what was thunder is now bolt. It's the same spell power, same MP usage, but it's just called bolt for the full English patch, okay? Because I guess, I mean, if you were to think thunder, you're thinking of the sound. The lightning bolt is what actually does damage. So I think they try to make that a little more correct, which I I know, but I just like the word thunder. <laughs> so, you know, but that's the way it is now with the full English patch, okay? But Geno Thunder has been changed to Geno Bolt, and Geno Thunder is a double green orb attack with a spell power of 120, 
and it lets you target an area. So it's not a radius around you, but it lets you target an area, a smaller area. And it's not as big as the other ones because it's more powerful than the other ones, spell power rating wise. So, okay, let's go on to um, the next one is React. React is a triple green orb spell, which allows any unit on your team to go two turns within one turn. So if you were to say, take a Cavalier and go attack somebody, if you put React on them beforehand, they will be able to go and attack that monster and then it'll give them another turn right away and they'll be able to attack it again. Or do anything you want to do. You know, with you could do anything you want to do with that, but that's just kind of what I wanted to say. Uh, the next one's Paralyze, which is like Solid. You know, it's a double green orb spell, which is like Solid, but the enemy can come out of Paralyze after a certain amount of time. With Solid, they cannot come out of being solidified. They're permanently solidified and turned to stone until they're cleansed of it or the battle's over. Uh, but with Paralyze, it could take some time to actually come out of that, but you don't need to be cleansed to come out of that. The next one is Protect. It's a single green orb. Has been changed in the patch to Harden. So it was Protect, but if you patch the game, full English patch, you'll see it as Harden. Okay. The next one is Silent. The very last orb is a green orb, single green orb called Silent. Has been changed in the full English patch to Dumb. So if you're looking for Silent, you have to look for Dumb. So instead of muting them with Silence, you just make them Dumb. Now they're Dumb. And uh, <laughs> they can't speak any magic. You can do this. This only applies to magical... Uh, magically based MP spells. There are some monsters that have some some attacks like an Acid Breath from a Dragon. You could use Dumb on him or Silent on him, whichever way it's said for you, and it, he will still be able to use Acid Breath. This only applies for something like uh, mages, things that can use magic spells like unicorns, pegasuses, nightmares, you know, that are using cleanse, uh, hallow, uh, cure, heal. They're using real magic based spells instead of like uh, monster attribute attacks it only works on that because I've tried that on a dragon before I've tried putting silence on a dragon they could still acid breath you because it's not actually a spell you know you're not really taking the time to cast a spell it's just a monster attack he's basically acid breath is is a vomit attack he's vomiting all over you you know and then with the flame attack it's kind of the same thing but it's hotter and other stuff like that. But I just kind of wanted to mention that. I wanted to go over everything, kind of describe that a little bit to you. Um, I think I did mention like Divine Ray is a single attack. Maybe if I did or didn't, I'll just say it right now. Divine Ray is a single attack, a single target. Um, Venom is a single attack as well. Holy Word is a radius attack. Meteor Doom is a radius attack, but you got to be worried, or not worried, but you got to be careful not to hit your own teammates with that. It's, Meteor Doom is the one spell that you can do that you can hit your own you can hit your own team with so that's a little bit of a, a worry there but i wanted to go over all the um all the spells kind of describe them in a bit of detail to some of the newcomers that are coming to the brigandine and they want to play it and they you know want to play uh, a version that's on the pc you know get the full english patch for that and everything to work with that i just kind of wanted to go over that so that would be easier for everybody leave some likes on this um, leave some comments and stuff so that uh, this can get passed around you know for generations to come for everybody to see it for years and years because we're actually coming up to a point where it's almost going to within a couple of years it's going to be a 20 year uh, it's gonna be 20 years since Burgundine came out so it's gonna be about 20 year anniversary I suppose for Burgundine itself as far as the normal uh, Burgundine version is so I just kind of wanted to do this. Um, big thanks also to uh, the Drist character, the Mad Monarch character from the old Foresna.org site. You know, I just wanted to say thank you uh, for putting this stuff together. I'm using some of you, your stuff as a backdrop to be able to um, talk about this a little bit more and, you know, kind of show some of the magic spells. And I'll be doing some other videos too. I'll probably include some of that as well to help people, you know, be able to play the Grand Edition version. So that's what I'll be doing for that as well. 
So I will be putting it in a playlist that will be within this playlist. This video will be in the same playlist as all the others. So if you want to see more Brigandine stuff, um, I've got some multiplayer playthroughs that I put on my channel too. And you want to see some more helpful videos like this for Brigandine, you know, come to the channel Veracity Trigger, subscribe, give it some likes, and uh, yeah, we'll have some fun. So thanks a lot for watching all the way, and I'll talk to you later.